Welcome back, Yard Fanatics, to Bermuda Grass Central. Um, I'm here at a property. Uh, brought you guys here so you can uh, basically see me putting down some uh, pre-emergent. And I know guys have been just can't wait, can't wait to get that pre-emergent down. Um, there's a couple of ways you need to tackle this thing, um, depending on what your yard look like, okay? Changing the world one yard at a time. Right now it's the end of January, February is coming up, so yeah, you can go ahead and put down your 007 pre-emergent. If you're if you're a non-contractor person, a regular homeowner, and you're buying 007 pre-emergent, you can get it at Home Depot. More than likely, it's going to be a 007.86 pre-em. Um, if you're a contractor, you can get it at um, this particular place I purchased it at is um, called Site One. Um, it'll be a 007.43 um, Stonewall, um, and you should see the name of the company up at the top. And you can also go with a, uh, I think it's a 0 .23 um, Dimension 007, which contains pre-emergent and post-emergent um, attributes. Um, that stuff, the, the one with Dimension costs a little bit more. And the, the sorry to say, if you're purchasing it at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you see Lesco in a traditional big box store, they're not going to have that dimension when 007. They may have the 2407 or the 1904, I forget the exact numbers with dimension in it, but they do not have a 007 with dimension in the big box store. You're gonna to have to go to the um, um, landscape supply store in order to get it. But let me show you what we got, okay? Okay guys, I'm about to apply this point, uh, four, three Stonewall Lesco, um, which is basically um, Lesco's name for their um, barricade, pro mean basically. Um, one of the things you need to do before you apply the product, you need to make sure you understand um, how big the bag is and how much it will cover. This .43 covers 10,000 square feet, okay? Let me show you something. All right, as you can see here, I got the bag right here. Let's go. Stonewall .43 plus fertilizer. Fertilizer is not literally fertilizer like nitrogen. It's just inert material to help broadcast this .43 um, pre-emergent on the lawn and I measured the yard before I started that's the first thing I want to tell you you need to get some type of measuring device one with the wheel a whole lot better than a tape measure a tape measure just take too much time it took me like three minutes to measure this yard well it was more than three minutes more like ten minutes but <clears throat> as you can see I walked the whole property on this side and guys before you start putting down this pre-emergent you'll you see all these leaves you gotta get that stuff up you gotta get those leaves up so i'm gonna blow all these leaves off the grass before i apply my predominant measured over there if you can see it okay you got this area and on the other where that metal box at it's a little bit over there so we measured it off right at 3,000 square feet and let's get back to the bag. Bag covers 10,000 square feet. So basically all I'm doing is taking a third of this bag and I'm putting it down on this lawn. If you go a little bit over, it's not gonna hurt it. A little bit under won't hurt it, but try to stay the over more than under. In other words, if it's 3,000 square feet, I don't wanna put 2,500 square feet worth of um, chemicals or material on this yard. I wanna go 3,000, 3,100, somewhere around there. So I'm not gonna go ahead and apply it, but this particular bag will give me up to four months of uh, coverage. And I need you to look at this, okay? Normally when you buy these products, they'll tell you when you can start applying. You see the South, January to March, transitional zone, and it shows you right there on the map with a transitional zone and all that good stuff at. So when you buy this product, look at the, 
right here and it'll tell you exactly when you comply. Now, having said that, it says January to March. If, if, you, if you're here in the South and it's snowing like crazy or it's raining like crazy, you might wanna postpone that until you know you're gonna get a little bit better weather. Um, if it's like 25, 30 degrees outside, normally I say wait till the soil temps come up to 50 or 60. But if you're applying the granule, you can get away with it a whole lot more than you're applying the liquid form of prodiamine. Right here in this, I have my liquid form of prodiamine. Of course, I have it spiked with a um, weed kill for lawns, not glyphosate. But I have prodiamine in here. Um, and I didn't go 0.83. I only went, I think, 0.4 per gallon of water. Um, and this is a two gallon sprayer, all right? You're gonna get better protection with this one if it's raining a lot, because it does not dissolve as fast. It stays a little bit longer with the product that it's on. Now, the granules that you see in here, it's not a whole piece of prodiamine or barricade. It's basically the inert material covered with the prodiamine to help spread it through your lawn. And as it gets watered in, it comes off that and all that stuff dissolves into the witch column when you use liquid it's on the foliage you get some in the soil but you have to water that stuff off the foliage down into the soil um, to create the barrier that's going to prevent those weed seeds from germinating you will not get 100 percent protection all the time okay you need to understand that put this product down <clears throat> and you put it down once don't sit here and assume I think that oh um, I got a hundred percent protection no that's why I always recommend you get on a pre-emergent program to help prevent weeds in your lawn I don't know if you guys have seen videos of this lawn but it was full of weeds full of it I, I've had them on a prodiamine program for the last year and a half and it's looking a whole lot better but I'm getting a jump on it and this is not Bermuda this is actually zoysia all the tips that I give you for Bermuda lawns, you can use it on zoysia also, okay? Understand that. It's basically the same type of grass, get treated the same type of way. Zoysia is a tad bit different, but the way that you treat it is pretty much the same that you will treat Bermuda lawns. So all the tips that I give you, you can use it for Bermuda lawns and zoysia, okay? Pour that um, 0.43, um, let's go pre-emergent in here. You can see it has that yellowish color. That yellow is that prodiamine. And the zero, zero, and you know what the seven is for, right? 7% potassium, okay? That helps the roots. Not getting any nitrogen or anything else with this, but basically prodiamine and a little bit of potassium to help with the root, to protect the roots, okay? So I'm gonna apply this to this yard. I already measured it off. I have a third of the bag in here, cover right a little bit over 3,000 square feet, and we're gonna get about approximately four months of protection. And when I say approximately, that means if it's raining a lot, you can get anywhere from two to four. That's what I've seen in the past from using this product. A heavy rain zone, yeah, it's gonna wash away a whole lot faster, but I'm going with the granule formula on a commercial property because I'm not going to be able to water this in I'm gonna actually rely on Mother Nature, supposed to rain tomorrow. So hopefully I won't get a gully washer, but the technical way to apply prodiamine is to apply the product and water it in the same day, okay? You need to water it in the same day, at least 30 to 40 minutes to get it into the soil. And that way it'll, it'll lock itself in and you'll get better protection. But you can apply it and you can allow the rain to, um, apply it in, to, to, to get it in the soil for you but if you're if you know you're going to get three or four days of rain i would not apply this product i would only apply it when i know it's going to rain maybe once that day okay here's a pro tip if you have a rock garden like this is lava rocks you see i put the granule 007.43 pro diamine barricade in the rock garden. It's okay to do that, because once it rains, 
that stuff will get down in that soil and help protect that also. Okay, so you can put it in a rock garden. Just know that you may have some yellowish on it, but that will go away with persistent watering or rain, okay? Okay, Yard Fanatic, now that you applied your 007 Brodamine Barricade Protection to your lawn, um, one thing I did recommend is that you get a soil test before you do any application this season, okay? If, if, if you're gonna get one, get your soil samples, put them in a Ziploc bag, and you can get the kit later. You don't have to have the kit necessarily right at that moment. Dig up your dirt, put it in a bag, and go get the soil samples. But you need to get this prodiamine, uh, or if you're using dithiophyr, you can use that also and put it down. Um, I don't use the other product that often. I pretty much stick with prodiamine because it's cheaper, you know, and it works. That's the thing, it works and it's cheaper. But if you're gonna get a soil test, get your samples now, put them in a the bag, get them to UGA or however you're gonna do your soil test ASAP so you can get the results back so you can know exactly what's missing from your lawn when you get ready to purchase your fertilizer from Home Depot, Lowe's, or if you're a contractor and you're buying from a company like um, Site One Contractor Supply. So remember, you are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I will talk to you soon.